Thank you very much for your kind introduction. And thank you for the organizing committee for inviting me to, and for, for you audience who stay late uh, with the last session. My topic is uh, HIV and malignancy. I will show you oh, one case of uh, interesting case. A 37-year-old male uh, referred from a provincial hospital with a jaundice and abdominal distension. Uh, six weeks prior to admission to our hospital, he developed left uh, bell palsy and treated with uh, penicillin 60 milligrams per day for 24 days. Uh, I think at the beginning they uh, do the HIV test and then he come back for the follow-up. They show that he have uh, HIV positive and the CD4 uh, later on is uh, 337 uh, cells and he was started on TDF, FTC, and Efavirin. Two weeks later, he developed jaundice and admit into the, uh, that hospital. He has a history of heavy alcohol drinking. And this is the lab from the local hospital. Liver function test, total bilirubin up to 18.2, and dilect bilirubin is 16. ALT 139, AST 104, alkali phosphatase 1,492, creatinine rising from one to six. Uh, and the ultrasound showed that dilated intrahepatic duct in both lobes with infiltration lesion at the portal hepatis, bilateral hydronephrosis. And his hepatitis B show that he already have a, a immune hepatitis C negative, hepatitis A negative, and serum crypto antigen negative, PDRL non-reactive, and the CD4 as I already show you. So this is a physical examination on him. He have febrile uh, white uh, pulse of 100. Uh, beat per min, respiratory rate 20, and blood pressure in the normal range, but he has a marked jaundice, and with hepatomegaly, my tenderness, and no lymph adenopathy, pitting edema, clubbing fingers, and flapping tremor, positive. Neuro exam, only left uh, bell palsy, that's still uh, there, other neurological, uh, examination were normal and also the stiff neck. And this is uh, the lab in our hospital, the CBC, uh, hemoglobin 11.6, hematocrit uh, 35, white cow is uh, leukocytosis 24,000, uh, pellet normal, uh, and PT and I I INR slightly prolonged to 1.7, uh, and beyond 11. Uh, 111 creatinine is 5.6, sodium uh, slightly low, and the bicarb is 16.1. Uh, he has acidosis. Uh, calcium is 8.9, magnesium is uh, 2.6, phosphate is 5.9, and uric is 22. Liver function test, albumin 2.9, goblin is 1.8. Uh, total bilirubin increased to 36.5, uh, dilect is uh, 34, ALT 58, AST is 113, alkali force up to 2,841, LDH is again very high, 2,900. Alpha fetoprotein is uh, 2.4, that is normal, CEA, 1.76 normal, but CA99 is over 1,000. So this is uh, his chest X-ray. He has a bilateral uh, lung infiltration. And this is the uh, uh, interpretation from the uh, radiologist from his CT abdomen. He have hepatomegaly with my uh, intrahepatic duct dilatation. Periductal enhancement and choronitis is suspected. Thick, gall, uh, thick wall gallbladder with pericholecystic fluid and a calculus cholecystitis is suspected. 
bilateral pyelitis, diffuse fat strand with thickening intra-abdominal fat uh, plane in, with minimal ascites uh, in right paracolic gutter and pelvic cavity. Infection or inflammation process should be considered. Multiple intra-abdominal lymph adenopathy along with the paraaortic and mesenteric. Bilateral pleural effusion with passive atherectasis. So this is his problem. Fever, cholestatic jaundice, pneumonia, acute kidney injury. He has underlying of HIV infection and Bell palsy with steroid treatment in the past. So I would like to ask you, uh, what is the most likely cause of jaundice in this patient? Uh, a is, is a disseminated infection, tuberculosis. B is MAC. C is a fungal infection. D, he has jaundice, a common malignancy in this area, cholangiocarcinoma with cholangitis. Or is he has an aggressive type of lymphoma. Please vote. So uh, since we are in the topic of HIV and malignancy, so you don't <laughs> vote for uh, infection. So most of you select uh, malignancy. And because I'm, I'm, I'm persuaded that uh, we, we just consider cholangiocarcinoma. So you, the most common answer is uh, cholangiocarcinoma. And some of you vote for aggressive lymphoma. Okay. So what is the most, uh, oh, sorry, what is the most likely to give diagnostic, diagnosis uh, investigation in this patient? A, sputum for staining PCR and cultures, and blood culture for many cultures, uh, mycobacterial, uh, bacteria, and fungus, liver biopsy, MRCP, or bone marrow aspiration. Please vote. Okay, so most of you said that it should be liver biopsy. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> this patient uh, has very severe. He has a kidney problem. He has a very, uh, he has liver enlarged. So we might consider do liver biopsy on this patient. However, since uh, we know that this patient have a very high LDH in the serum, so and he developed the kidney uh, failure. It might be from uric acid from uh, lymph node that uh, cause obstruction or something like that. So in this patient, we consider that he might have some uh, malignancy. So this is an investigation on this patient. He has a pneumonia, so we also consider that he might have a co-infection with TB. So we do sputum uh, AFB for three days and PCR gene expert as Dr. Kampon suggestion. <laughs> it's all negative, but sputum PCR for uh, pneumocystis gyrovexi is positive. And the sputum culture grew the uh, Krebsiera pneumonia uh, carbapenem resistance strain or CRE. We do the bone marrow biopsy and aspiration. The bone marrow show diffuse infiltration of last young lymphoid cell, and diagnosis is Burkitt lymphoma involved bone marrow. So, do you think this patient will receive chemotherapy? Will he survive? I do not prepare for voting. 
<laughs> Who think he will survive? Some of you really optimistic. Okay, so we. This is the BUN creatinine along the coast. This time, our nephrology do the hemodialysis on him. So you can see the BUN creatinine down for some time, but it's up again. So even we have a, a diagnosis, but hematologist is reluctant to give chemotherapy with the patient with liver failure and uh, kidney failure. So we just supported him, and this is uh, his chest X-ray. It uh, has progression of infiltration. And the sputum grandstand show the yeast with budding and pseudomycelium. Sputum culture still grew uh, CRE, Krebsiella pneumoniae, and the urine culture uh, Candida albicans. This is the cause of death in this patient. He has a blood culture grew candida albicans and he did not make it. So, so from this case, I look back uh, to our cases uh, with uh, HIV and lymphoma hospitalized in our hospital five year uh, retrospectively. Uh, so we identify 28 cases the median age is about 40 years old. Most of them are male, and the median CD4 count is 222. Half of them is ARV naive. So if you can imagine some of the patients already on treatment, but half of them are not on the treatment before. And the type of lymphoma most common is the diffuse last B cell lymphoma, and five case is uh, primarily CNS, and Burkitt lymphoma is uh, four cases, T cell four, and uh, plasma plastic in three cases. And the outcome, you can see that surviving in, in this patient is very low, it's uh, less than 20%. Most of them die uh, during hospital, and uh, some of them discharge home and do not come back for follow-up or some of them refer out, so we don't know. But I want to uh, show that uh, lymphoma with the hospitalization in our hospital has a very high uh, mortality. This is a common AIDS defining and non-AIDS defining tumor that associate with oncogene. You can see that the KS, you know, is associated with the uh, herpes virus type 8, and primarily CNS is associated with EBV, and also some Burkitt uh, B cell, uh, diffuse last B cell, and other plus uh, primarily effusion of lymphoma. Cervical cancer is associated with uh, herpes, oh no, papilloma virus, and Hoskin also associated with EBV, anal cancer, uh, papilloma virus, and hepatocellular carcinoma is uh, uh, hepatitis B and C. Head and neck is uh, papilloma virus and EBV. And this is the assessment of uh, malignancy in HIV patient in Eurocida. You can divide it into the infection-related malignancy that we already uh, talked to. And the risk factor is ACE and lower CD4 count, hepatitis B co-infection, detectable uh, viral load. So it means the patient not on treatment and the uh, prior ACE defining malignancy. For the infection unrelated malignancy, the common one is the cancer, uh, lung cancer, prostate, colorectal, and breast cancer. This is also associated with the age. Uh, low CD4 count, uh, hepatitis co-infection, and current smoking. And you all know about the STAR study. Even the patient have high CD4 count over 500. Uh, start antiretroviral treatment also reduce the malignancy, especially uh, 
Kaposi's sarcoma and lymphoma. And this is the Thailand data that uh, uh, the CD4 range uh, in the patient who start antiretroviral treatment. You can see that uh, in the earlier uh, year, the red and the pink one is the CD4 less than 100 or less than 200. 60% of them uh, start and antiretroviral at a very low CD4 count, and we are improving recently. And this is the median uh, CD4 count uh, in Thai patients who start antiretroviral treatment. Right now, we go up to about 194 cells. And this is the uh, incident, the standard incident ratio for uh, AIDS-defining cancer uh, before pre-heart ELA and early heart ELA. You can see that Kaposi sarcoma and uh, primarily CNS lymphoma markedly reduced, but for other uh, malignancy like uh, Burkitt or diffuse last B cell or other non-Hodgkin lymphoma, is, uh, the effect is not uh, very clear. And this is for uh, non ace defining cancer. You can see some of the uh, cancer increasing after uh, heart use. Okay? And if you compare HAV infection to non HAV infection, you can see that uh, the anal cancer is much higher in HAV. Uh, infected patient and Hodgkin lymphoma and also oral and pharyngeal uh, carcinoma is higher in non-HIV infection. And a lot of uh, malignancy anal Hodgkin lymphoma and oral uh, pharyngeal lymphoma is related to the level of the CD4. You can see that if the CD4 is less than 200, the incidence is very high as compared to 500 uh, cells. So this is a P significant. And this is the show the uh, predictor of the cancer incident in, uh, in heart. This is one of the study from the uh, CINIX observational. You can see that uh, KS and lymphoma is markedly reduced after antiretroviral treatment and is stay very really low. But for non other non KS and non uh, lymphoma, it seems to be increased in, in this cohort. Okay. But in the uh, DAD study, uh, when they look at the non AS malignancy overall, uh, the incidence seemed to be stable. However, uh, among HIV patients, non is defining malignancy that is common is lung, anal, and Hodgkin lymphoma. For cancer prevention, if you can do the one of the most effective thing to do is let your patient stop smoking which is really difficult for me. Uh, we, 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 can, uh, we can ask them to take medication every day. They can do it. But when they come to the uh, clinic in their pocket, they have a cigarette in, in their pocket every time. So uh, even I try to uh, tell them that you should uh, Stop smoking is very difficult, but it's very effective way to reduce the uh, risk of malignancy. Provide the hepatitis uh, and hep, uh, papilloma virus vaccination. Advice to uh, to use sunscreen or avoid sun exposure. This is for a Western country. Uh, screening yearly for cervical and anal prep. Uh, as indicate, colon cancer screening at age of 50, breast cancer screening uh, every other year at the age of 50, prostate screening uh, 
should be discussed at age of 50. So, and hepatitis B and C uh, positive, you should screen for liver cancer. So, we now uh, taking care of uh, more aging patients. A lot of our patients is over 50, so we have to talk about the malignancy in this patient. This is the, uh, the summary, the screening of the cancer that we uh, mentioned. Anal cancer in the risk group is the MSM, so you should do the PR or the pap smear test, but the evidence that uh, this is uh, reduce the mortality is unknown, but some, most of the experts also recommend to do uh, the screening. For breast cancer, uh, women over 50 years old to do the mammogram, this reduces the mortality. Cervical cancer, sexually active women should do pap smear uh, every year. This is also reduced mortality. Colorectal, uh, 50 years old up, so you should do the occult blood in the stool or the colonoscopy. This is again reduce mortality. For, hepatite, uh, for hepatoma, in the patient who have cirrhosis from hepatitis B or in our region, hepatitis C also the problem. So you should do the ultrasound and alpha fetoprotein. This improve ability to do the surgical collection, so uh, may reduce mortality. And the last one is a prostate cancer in the men who uh, age uh, over 50. You should do the PR and uh, PSA. And one of uh, the screening that uh, we, we do not do the routinely, this study showed that the screening with the low-dose CT uh, scan of the lung in a high-risk patient uh, in the U.S., they enroll patients over 50,000 uh, cases who have a, a high risk of lung cancer to do the low-dose CT scan with the routine chest X-ray. From this graph, you can see that a low-dose CT scan can detect early lung cancer uh, than routine chest X-ray. And the lower graph is the cumulative of lung cancer death. That is the mortality. You can see that uh, if you use the low-dose CT scan, you may reduce the mortality in this uh, high-risk group. So in the USPSTF, recommend the annual low-dose CT scan in the patient who uh, age 55 to 80 who have uh, 30 year, 30 pack year of smoking history, and currently smoking or quit smoking within the past 15 years to re reduce uh, the mortality. Okay, and this is uh, my summary uh, slide. Uh, I show you that the AIDS defining malignancy mostly related to oncogenic virus. Some of the virus we cannot do anything, but for some of the uh, virus we, we, we have vac vaccine. The incident of uh, AIDS defining malignancy is correlated to the uh, antiretroviral use and the CD4 level. So uh, again, this is uh, encourage everyone to, uh, this is one of the topic we, we can discuss with the patient who have uh, HIV positive and reluctant to uh, start antiretroviral we can reduce malignancy. So most of the people are very uh, scared of malignancy. Common non ace malignancy are lung, uh, anal cancer, Hodgkin lymphoma. For prevention, you should uh, start antiretroviral uh, very early, smoking cessation, hepatitis and uh, papilloma, human papilloma virus vaccination and screening for cancer among hybrid groups. Thank you very much for your attention.